Hi folks, this is your MWIST planning outlook with the details into the weekend and the longer range. Now, I wish I had something immediately better to offer, but at the moment it's still a rather unsettled story with areas of low pressure still coming in from the Atlantic. Further periods of rainfall and upland gales as well. Not quite as stormy as last weekend, but take nothing away from it. It'll be rather uncomfortable over higher terrain on many days. Some milder conditions later this week with considerable thawing of the snow cover on the high tops but looking chillier again with some wintry conditions in the forecast over the mountains into the start of next week. This is the general pressure pattern over the current seven day period through to next Monday where we've got blue colours that is lower than average pressure, orange colours is higher than average pressure and that's having a go at trying to build across the south of Britain. The main focus of that is all across Europe at this stage. For the northwest, it's still very busy in terms of weather systems spinning up from the Atlantic. They will pass a bit further north than recently, which will be dragging in that milder airflow from the southwest, but still keeping things unsettled across much of northern Britain. Those pressure patterns do just shift a bit as we go forwards into the following week, the 15th through the 22nd, with low pressure focused over Scandinavia. That's allowing that chillier northwesterly airflow to come in, bringing those at colder conditions overall then. Orange colours out toward the west indicating high pressure is there and that may just try and show its hand and build from the west with time. How soon that comes in though, open to a lot of question at this stage. Let's try and put some detail on that then I'll start off with the freezing level and this is for early on Wednesday and the higher mountains particularly in Scotland start off below freezing points. Uh, we've got a warm front moving in though so those temperatures are rising by the middle of the day and into the afternoon in particular that freezing level going up considerably above the mountains so uh, temperatures up to let's say about five degrees Celsius even on the top of Ben Nevis by later in the day. That milder air stays around into Thursday, so we're above freezing point to the high tops throughout, and that situation stays the same into Friday. So all the higher mountains of Britain are a few degrees above freezing for several days there. So that's the thawing taking place at that time. Over the weekend, things just start to change. The air is coming around more from the west by northwest by the stage into Saturday, fluctuating around or just above freezing to the high tops, but maybe quite an abrupt drop of freezing level through the later part of the day, back at below a thousand metres. And overnight could drop lower than that, variable again into early Sunday, but close to freezing at around Munro level between around 800 and 1000 metres, even across England and Wales, those highest summits near to freezing point. And that colder northwesterly air continues to dominate into the start of next week. This is for Monday of next week, showing us around 800 metres or possibly lower across northern Scotland. So most of our higher mountains will be near or below freezing point at that stage and into Tuesday similar maybe colder overnight to lower elevations with some frost at uh, low ground overnight into Tuesday next week and the daytime is back to around 800 metres or locally colder in northern Scotland. By the middle of next week we're probably back to where we were over the weekend with the freezing level just that little bit higher. The charts for the next five days then look like this and Wednesday has that warm front moving in. There's some snowfall on the forward side of that as the precipitation runs into the chilly air but that's turning to rain and that will be fairly persistent and heavy over western Scotland. Rain and drizzle fairly persistent too over the western hills of England and Wales and lots of low cloud blanketing those western hills and extensive across most mountains as the day goes on. South to southwest the wind soon strengthening as well, a gale force across most higher terrain. Thursday looks better in some respects in that the heavier rain has moved through but we are in a mild and humid atmosphere coming in on that southwesterly and that will mean a lot of low cloud again shrouding the hills to low elevations in the west best of any higher cloud bases toward the east but I think covering most higher terrain all day drizzly and damp across western coastal mountains some patches of drizzle drifting through eastwards and a strong southwesterly wind gale force over higher mountain tops especially across northern Scotland temperatures are mild but will feel much cooler still we're exposed to that wind
Later in the day, as this wriggling frontal feature just comes in from the southwest, it could be that parts of Wales and even Cumbria turn wetter again into the evening. Fronts are draped across the country then on Friday, relatively weak features but still producing again a very damp atmosphere, so drizzle, some light rain, some steadier rain maybe in there over western hills and again extensive low cloud, especially across the west and it stays windy for good measure as well. So all still feeling rather unpleasant, temperatures staying mild. How about the weekend? Well, the chart doesn't change a great deal, does it? We've still got low pressure nearby. We've still got windy conditions, the risk of even being up to severe gale force on the higher tops as those isobars squeeze, and some further rainfall focused over western Scotland, tending to snow on the Munros and as temperatures are lower by this stage and that colder air starting to arrive from the west northwest. Still got weather fronts on the chart into Sunday. We are generally in a cooler air mass by this stage overall, so even that warm front moving through won't lift the temperatures as much as previous days. Still looking at uh, fairly persistent uh, areas of rainfall and some upland snow across the western mountains in Scotland, and then that uh, colder air again tucking in behind the next cold front from the west later. Still windy and still the risk of being up to gale force over higher terrain, especially in Scotland. Just the hint of being a bit drier and brighter further south across England and Wales nearer to high pressure, but still some drizzly conditions likely in the west. Running that further forwards into next week off one of the forecast models and that area of low pressure is expected to move toward the North Sea into Monday then and that draws in that cold northwesterly airflow, showery with snow over the higher terrain, some hail falling to lower slopes as well and some of those showers heavy enough for an odd rumble of thunder mixed in as well. The sequence into the middle of next week still sees that uh, cooler northwesterly flow. High pressure stays out toward the west. All going to get very complicated for the models to forecast at this distance, but it still looks as though it's a showery mix with low pressure still nearby over the North Sea at that time. We just need to get that high out to the west to build further in, and there's some hints that that may start to do so heading toward the later stages of next week. As I showed you at the start, that chart for the week through to the 22nd has the low over Scandinavia. We're wanting the high to come in and the forecast modelling is trying to look more optimistic for the final week of April. We need to watch that carefully to see how that develops. But things just looking more promising and the models for a few days now have kept building the story that the later part of April is seeing higher pressure. So that's the dangling of a carrot, if you like, for something further ahead for improving springtime conditions. Conditions. Let's just see how that forecast plays out for late April. Wild weather gear at the ready again though in the short term. Enjoy that if you can. That is your planning outlook. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.